After being resurrected from the shadows in 2019, Aptera Motors has been gaining traction with its flagship SEV. We've seen the Aptera evolve from Alpha to Gamma, which was revealed at a fully charged live event. So far, the interior and exterior design of the car have seen significant improvements. In today's video, we'll go over all of the major changes that Aptera has made since the Alpha Gamma prototypes, and I have to say, it's a pretty interesting list, so make sure to stick around to the end to find out. Starting with the Alpha model, these phases included early prototypes to validate their basic design and engineering. Following the release of three Alpha models, the first was the Noir, which was predominantly black and got its name from the French word for black. The Saw model, which was predominantly white and named after the Spanish word for sun, was the second Alpha iteration, released in June 2021. The Lunar was the final Alpha model to be released in 2021 and its name was inspired by humankind's fascination with space travel and technological innovation. The second phase of production for Aptera was the Beta, in which test moles were used to evaluate dynamic and transit vehicle behavior. The benefit was characterized by extensive testing of the suspension as well as improvements to turning radius, geometry, door seals, and latches with the help of Roche, a recognized global leader in engineering prototyping testing and manufacturing. Aptera was able to make significant progress in the development phase back in January 2020. The Gamma phase is the third of four phases that incorporate the development of vehicles to represent production intent functionalities and features. Aptera recently unveiled the Gamma, it fully charged live, and we have been learning a lot about the car ever since. The Delta is the final phase of production, and it is the production intent vehicle. Customers will take delivery of the Delta, which is the final production model of the SEV. That said, there have been a series of developments and changes from the Alpha through to the current Gamma phase, and there are some changes we expect from the Gamma going into the Delta phase. So then, let's go over some key changes we've seen from the Alpha through to the Gamma. First up is the battery pack sizes, and the battery pack sizes have also been announced in much detail since the Alpha. We know that the 250-mile version will have a 23-kilowatt-hour battery while the 400-mile version will have a 45-kilowatt-hour battery with 41-kilowatt-hours of useful energy. The 600-mile version will have a 66-kilowatt-hour battery, and the 1,000-mile version will have a 99-kilowatt-hour battery. But the 150-mile variant, as many have predicted, will be the most efficient because it is the lightest and requires a lower battery pack size than the others. The 400-mile version contains a 45-kilowatt-hour battery pack that holds around 9% of the energy in reserve to increase the battery's life. Interestingly, the 600-mile version has a 66-kilowatt-hour battery pack, which probably includes this 9-10% to energy reserve. Finally, the battery pack in the 1,000-mile version is only 99 kilowatt-hours. Aptera indicated that they ran out of room for a 110 kilowatt hour pack, or it could just be a mass manufacturing aspect, implying that they didn't want to make too many battery variants in order to keep the price competitive. In any case, we can expect the 400 mile version with a 45 kilowatt hour battery to be released first, and the other variants will follow after. Number 2. The Yoke Steering. So we learned from the Gamma teaser revealed back in August that the Gamma and possibly the Delta will feature a steering yoke, and it has no doubt generated some mixed feelings. The gray areas of the front and rear of the wheel pans are made from hard foam that is designed to degrade over time. Aptera has made these parts easily removable as they're most likely to get damaged. Number 5. Exterior and Body Shape The belly of the Aptera has now been lowered a little bit presumably to help them better fit in the battery, but also perhaps to help them fit in a third seat. Number 6. Number of vents. There are lots of vets on the Aptera. Some of the vents are on the edge of the main screen. There are also front and side defrost vents for the windows and windshield, as well as ventilation in both footwells. Number 7. The number of solar cells on the exterior. We notice that the six small solar cells arranged on the rear deck are gone, but Aptera has increased the number of cells it includes in the roof and front solar arrays. The company has also hinted that it may offer additional solar charging, possibly through a separate array. We've also put a link in the description to the video where we covered the announcement of Aptua partnering with Maxon Technologies and at another video which we will leave below the like button. We also covered the difficulties after a faces with its solar panels and why Maxing was the company of choice. So be sure to also check that video out link below the like button. And finally, number eight, a third seat. The array would only be used when the vehicle is stationary. We however got news recently that solar production has already begun with this cross-company collaboration with Maxon. 
after solar engineers have created ultra-lightweight and curved solar cells that will set the standard for efficiency as defined by conventional rules of aerodynamics. The integration of these cells will enable the vehicle to achieve unprecedented solar range. And finally, number eight, a third seat. The vehicle will come with an available additional seat in the reader for an extra passenger. We don't know if there will be integrated in the center or on the side, but it will definitely make the Aptera a little more appealing to more people, especially if it's a full-size seat that can accommodate an adult. There was a surprise announcement by Chris Anthony that the 250-mile version of the Aptera, which is the base version, will come with an optional third seat. However, he is more focused on producing the 400-mile version which will be released first, and not the 250-mile version. We're going to be ending here for now, but there are certainly more changes that have been so far that we haven't covered in this video. But don't fret, we will be talking about the rest of them in a subsequent video. What is your favorite feature in this list? Tell us what model you have gone with and the features you picked. Please let us know in the comment section below. Do you find the video interesting? If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching.